and welcome again to Green Hobby. So for this session, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you around the room and also I'm going to introduce my 65 plants inside my bedroom. Usually on a, on a regular day, this is my workspace. So this is my workspace. This is where I do um, online sessions, meetings, and at the same time do my all my works. And then this is also my bedroom. This is where I sleep. And around it is actually a garden. Okay, so you can see there are a lot of plants in my bedroom. And I've counted it. It's a total of 65 plants. So what we're going to do is I'm going to name all of the plants inside my bedroom garden one by one. But for today's vlog, we will start with my Sansevieria corner. Okay, but we will transfer all of these plants in my workstation. There, I have transferred all my Sansevierias from my Sansevieria corner to my workstation because our goal today is to introduce you to each of the Sansevieria that I have here inside my room and we will count that as part of, our, of my 65 plants inside the room. So this is the first edition of the 65 plant countdown inside my bedroom. Sansevierias are also good for those who want to start their plant journey. It is, these are good plants if you are a newbie, a starter, and those that has, they called it as the black thumb, which I totally disagree that there is someone that has a black thumb. But Sansevieria are good for those who are starting their plant journey because these plants are very sturdy. At the same time, they can tolerate low light conditions and you can water them less because at the different conditions, they will thrive and continue to exist as a house plant. So these are my Sansevieria collection inside my room. Ang maganda sa mga Sansevieria, they are very sturdy plants. And if you are the type of a plant parents na nakakalimutan magwater ng plants or very busy, these are also good plants because our recommendation actually is to water them once a month. Especially if yung type of soil na meron kayo is medyo compact and hindi masyadong kulang kayo dun sa perlite or sa mga stones na pwedeng mag-create ng irrigation sa inyong mga ano sa inyong mga halaman then once a month would be good for these kinds of house plants the location of this plant this these plants inside my room is about 10 feet from a southwest facing window so medyo malayo sila 10 feet is actually far to get ano na, to get enough light and hindi ko na sila sino supplement ng grow light what I do is they just get the enough light that's coming from my bedroom light and they still survive in a low light condition. And good thing also with, uh, with Sanseveria, they can actually survive in a different kind of light ranges. So kung halimbawa, full sunlight, kaya nila, medium kaya nila, in even low light condition. Siguro yung pinaka tip ko lang, especially when you water these plants, Make sure when you water them, and if nakaposition sila doon sa part ng bahay ninyo kung saan low light condition, you make sure after you water them, uh, you, you position them first in a area where there is a bright light condition. Siguro mga 24 hours, and then you, you bago mo sila ibalik, or bago ninyo sila ibalik, doon sa kanilang um, low light condition area of your house. So, yun. My, ano, my Sansevieria plant is actually 
marami sila, bibilangin natin and uh, pag-uusapan natin bawat isa sa kanila and what makes them great houseplants. So yung pinakaunang Sanseveria na introduce ko sa inyo is this Sanseveria Metallica. Um, actually, yung plant na to, uh, this is one of, isa to sa mga ano, binigay sa akin na gift last year. So marami na to ngayon in my garden, but inside my room, is one of the baby plant actually. So yung mother plant, nasa garden ko siya. And if you can observe, kaya siya metallica, when you look at yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang leaves, is actually sobrang meron siyang ano, may mga silver stripes siya. And... Usually, pag sinabi natin Sanseveria or snake plants, yun yung usual and common names na naririnig natin. Ang naiisip natin, di ba, naka-ano siya, medyo nakatayo lang siya ng steady. But this kind of Sanseveria, hindi siya steady nakatayo, talagang nagbe-bend siya. Which I like because it gives ibang ano, parang ibang type of decoration doon sa loob ng room mo. And it gives you also a way to position the plant that it looks nice in a corner of your Room. So this is a Sanseveria Metallica. Um, according to my research, it's a plant that is native to South Africa. So that's the first Sanseveria that I have. My second Sanseveria is the Sanseveria Moonshine. For those na siguro nagpo-follow ng vlog ng Green Hobby, actually, uh, posibleng nakita nyo na to dun sa isa sa mga vlog ko. I think it was vlog number 2 where I actually uh, propagated yung ano na to, no? yung Sanseveria Moonshine. This is, this another Sanseveria Moonshine is again taken from that mother plant. Kinuha to ulit dun sa mother plant. So nagkaroon siya ulit ng baby. And um, Sanseveria Moonshine is very nice. Uh, yung kanyang ano yung kanyang variegation is medyo uh, papunta siya daw medyo white and less yung kanyang green so kaya siya maraming na-attract sa kanya because uh, nagaagaw yung green at saka yung whitish color niya where i think yung kanyang ano no yung kanyang pangalan na moonshine came from because of the color combination na meron yung ano yung merong sanseveria nito and at the same time uh, where a lot of Sanseveria naman are very common in ano, in Africa. This one also is a cultivar that is also native in the African region. So, this is a Sanseveria moonshine. And this is my Sanseveria number two. So, my third Sanseveria is the Sanseveria Bantel Sensation. So, uh, what differentiates this from the other Sanseverias that I have is this kind of Sanseveria, yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang leaf is medyo manipis. And nagaagaw din yung kanyang green and white and yellowish na type of leaf. So nagaagaw yung variegation niya in that leaf. So nagugrow din siya as big as the any other Sanseveria. And it's easy to take care of as a plant. So this is my third plant or my third Sanseveria, the Sanseveria Bantil Sensation. So, my fourth Sanseveria is the Sanseveria whale fin. Actually, meron akong dalawang uh, whale fin dito. This is the regular whale fin. So, ito yung sobrang lumalaki. And I also have a Sanseveria whale fin dwarf. So, ito, maliit lang siya. So, this is a dwarf version of this whale fin. So, this type of Sanseveria is actually a native from Congo. And yung maganda sa kanya because of its whale fin shape, hindi siya nakaka-occupy ng space sa bahay masyado. So you can put it in a corner or in a place where you like it best. Walang, ano, walang masyadong space na kailangan. And at the same time, like the rest of the other Sanseveria, um, hindi din siya mataas ang kanyang water requirements. So I just water my whale fin once a month. So this is my fourth Sanseveria, the Sanseveria Whale Fin Regular and Dwarf. So, my fifth Sanseveria is actually the newest member of my Sanseveria collection. Medyo malayo-layo pa yung pinagkunan nito. So, this is a Sanseveria Kirkii Copper Tone. Okay, so, hindi siya masyadong common and unlike any other Sanseveria, hindi rin siya nakatayo. Medyo pahiga yung kanyang pagtubo. And if you can notice, yung Kirkii Copper Tone, yung color niya is very parang brown and medyo copper-ish yung color niya. So, kaya siya siguro tinatawag na copper tone. And this Sanseveria is native in, of course, in Africa. And uh, 
sobrang easy to take care of also as a Sansevieria. So you can add this in your collection, the Sansevieria Kirkiai Copper Tone. This is my fifth Sansevieria. My sixth Sansevieria is the Sansevieria Bonsell. Although <clears throat> sobrang dami niyang iba't ibang pangalan, tawag sa kanya minsan Sansevieria Starfish or Sansevieria Cylindrical. So yun yung tatlong common name niya. But um, mas kilala siya as Sansevieria Starfish or Bonsell. So this type of Sansevieria is also a very common one. Ang maganda lang sa kanya, na, unlike any other Sansevieria, medyo naka-star, starfish shape siya. Um, hindi siya yung ano lang, naka-straight lang siya na type of Sansevieria. So this is a good also and uh, very easy type of Sansevieria. So my number 7 and number 8 Sansevieria is the Sansevieria Trifasciata. So this is that Sansevieria Trifasciata and this is the Sansevieria Trifasciata Superba. So yung Superba yan yung merong yellow and then yung common na Trifasciata is yung green lang talaga siya. So very common sila because ito yung kahit saan halos nakikita natin. But at the same time, this is a very common house plant as well. Especially for those na nagsisimula pa lang sa kanilang house plant collection. The Trifasciata Sansevieria are the most common, easy to take care of type of Sansevieria. And sobrang madali siya at mabili siyang magkaroon ng mga baby sprouts. So like for this one, even though nasa loob siya ng room ko, uh, nagsasprout na rin siya. Kakaroon na siya ng mga, ano niya, ng mga babies niya. And this one is yung full, the full green Trifasciata. Maganda siya, syempre, as a corner plant. And if you put them together, pag sobrang dami niya, sobrang ganda niya as a corner plant. So, as like any other Sansevieria, easy to take care of, it can tolerate a uh, little sunlight or little light, and at the same time, ano din siya, less water din siya. So, that's Sansevieria number 7 and number 8, Trifasciata and Trifasciata Superba. So, my ninth plant is actually not a Sansevieria, but I place it within the Sansevieria collection or portion of my bedroom. So the name of the plant is Ahoya Kerii. So this is a variegated Hoya Kerii, and it's famous also during Valentine's. So it's called as Hoya Valentine's or a sweetheart plant because of its heart-shaped type of leaf. And this is the variegated version. I don't have the, ano no, the green version or the regular version, but this is also an easy to take care of plant. Mukhala siyang mahirap i-grow because of its heart-shaped plant, uh, heart-shaped leaf. Pero it's very easy, just like the Sansevieria. Um, most of my Sansevieria, I water them once a month, but with my Hoya Kerii, I water them every 15 days or two times a month. So it's easy to take care of and most of you might have seen this na binibenta no, sa mga plant shop na single leaf lang siya. Though single leaf Hoya Kerii, they don't grow like this. Like what you can see here, they don't grow like na merong stem and madadagdagan yung kanyang leaf. It will only be alive like ano, a single leaf. So make sure that when you Get one of the Hoya Kerii to be part of your house plant. Make sure na meron siyang stem at meron siyang extra leaf so that yun talaga yung type of Hoya that will grow. So this is my ninth plant for this uh, episode of the Green Hobby. So I have actually shown you uh, my Sansevieria collection plus the Hoya Kerii. So it's a total of 10 plants here. 9 lang lahat yung ano natin, no? parang dinescus because there is a regular whale fin and a dwarf whale fin version. But these are the 10 plants in the corner of my Sansevieria in my bedroom. So for the next episode, kulang pa ako and I will introduce you to the 55 more plants inside my bedroom. So I hope that you will follow this series of Green Hobby, what types of plants can actually grow inside your bedroom and what kind of care they need and what kind of care you will provide them in your own bedroom. So for starters and for those that are you know, afraid to start their house plant collection, Sansevieria would be the perfect and sturdy plants for you. Thank you!